Welcome back to Zachus. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. We've got an awesome video for you today. Well, it may be awesome for you or it may not be, depending on your perspective or desire for the Roomba I, or no, the Roomba M6 Brava. The Roomba M6 Brava mop. I'm gonna get all into the details. Here we go. All right, guys, for you guys that don't like to watch long videos, I'm just going to get right into it. It is a burn it or buy it situation here. I'm not going to burn it because it's too expensive and I'm not to that series setup yet. I've already got a product that I'm going to burn for my first burn it or buy it series. So be sure and hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber so you get notified first when those videos go up because they're going to be awesome. We're going to burn some stuff and it's going to be exciting. But this is not good. I was really hopeful that with all the reviews I read, all the research that I did, that the J7 Plus would go out and back in my hardwood floors and the M6 would go out and mop them. This has been a nightmare. First, the thing is very just cheap, cheaply built. I mean, it doesn't hold up. I know they bought this company and it's not really part of their product line and they're kind of just kind of looping it in with their products. But Roomba iRobot products, if you watch my other videos, are high quality. I love them. They work well. They work the best of everything I've tried so far. But this M6 Brava is pathetically awful and way behind on what everyone else is doing and coming. The Roborock Max is coming, which is awesome. We're going to be trying that here on the Zacchaeus channel. Basically, you have to turn it over and you have to, you have these like, flimsy little pads that you have to like bend in and click in and then you have to flip it back open and pop the thing open and fill it with water and, and solution which they give you in the box and you seal it back up pop it in there you get one run it goes out and mops and that's that's a loose term with this thing because I've put stuff on the floors I had stuff on the floors it did not clean them up it, it does spray but it just doesn't like get in there and mop and then when it's done you have to take the tank out because you have to take it out every time you want to mop. It doesn't just sit there and work like the J7 Plus or the i8 Plus. It is manual labor. Every I want it to mop every week, so I have to like pop, remember to change the pad out, build the solution back up, and hope, hope that it goes out and mops after vacuums. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I have to make it go out and back and mop. Not happy. I wish I could return it, but past the return policy. I may end up burning it. We'll see. It's very expensive. I'm gonna try the Robo Rock uh, Max when I can get my hand on it because it is what I want. It's what you want. You want something that sits in your home and vacuums and mops, and you don't have to think about it. But once every two or three months, the new Robo Rock Max is promising that it cleans itself. It has containers for the solution, so it refills itself up, empties the dirty water, fills it fills up with a new solution, cleans its pads, its mop pads, empties the vacuum out, everything right there in the docking station. It is massive, but you need, you know, it's a robot that's gonna now go out and vacuum and mop for at least 60 days, and you don't have to worry about it. And what what is it every couple months to pop something out of the, the docking station and empty it out, fill it up, boom. Instead of having to reach down, pull the thing out, take it out, flip it over, put new pads on, all that stuff is just, every week is not like really helpful. I mean, I know I'm probably complaining, third world problems, whatever, first world problems, but I just, I just don't feel like it's really solving anything for me. And on top of that, it doesn't mop well. The Robo Rock mopped a lot better because it has that vibration. I just sent it back because it didn't vacuum very well and it got stuck a lot. So I'm hoping they've solved those issues. There's some other ones I'm going to try as well that um, have a little bit more rotating brushes and don't vacuum, that just mop and maybe keep it separate. Um, so I'm going to try a few things over the year and see what happens. But I wanted to get on here and just tell you guys and show you guys what my experience has been. Of course, I bought the black one with the, it was supposed to be a bundle, but they sold them to me separately just with discounts on both um, at Black Friday 2021. <clears throat> and I just, I had to buy directly from my robot because they're the only ones that sold the black uh, M6 with the J7 Plus. Otherwise, you got a white one, which I just didn't want. So I took the risk. And here's a little bonus tip. 
don't buy directly from my robot. I'm just here to tell you right now, it was a freaking nightmare because a few days later, I found it for $60 less for the J7 Plus. I hadn't even opened the one for my robot, it's brand new. So I wrote them and I asked for a return label. I should have got it within 48 hours, but it took three months emailing them every week, and then finally threatening to do a chargeback, actually contacting my credit card. My credit card contacted them for a chargeback. Then I got the return label, and then it still took 30 days to get a refund, or almost 30 days to get a refund. Not a good thing. So if you, iRobot's a great product. They're a huge company. I don't know what's going on with corporate, but I would buy from Amazon. I would buy from Walmart or Best Buy or somewhere that has a good return policy where if something goes wrong or you don't like it, you can walk in there and boom, or reach out to Amazon and get a return label. Just, you want that confidence. I won't ever buy from my robot again directly. Um, it was just not good, but the products are great. And then watch my J7 Plus video because it is amazing. It is definitely a buy it, I love it. I've got two of them now and I bought several for people. Um, over the Christmas holidays. Just a really solid product out of all the ones I've tried. I really love it. So be sure and check out that video. I'll put the link down below in the description. And it is so good to see your beautiful faces to all my subscribers. We're going up and up. We're almost to 6,000. Hopefully we'll be to 10 by the end of the year. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the little bell. You'll be notified first when I put up great new videos like this so you can be warned or you can be excited about something new coming and find something that's going to make your life easier. That's what I'm here for to do honest reviews. I'm not affiliated with anybody, not sponsored. So I do use affiliated links because they just get me a little bit of money to help you know, fund this channel, which is not even close to what it costs. But I'm just trying to help you guys out and give you honest reviews. And I just love seeing your beautiful faces. And I thank you so much for watching this video. And I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.